the round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Greg Schreiner. Take it away, son. There may be trouble ahead, but while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. Before the fiddlers have fled, before they ask us to pay the bill, and while we still have the chance, Let's face the music and dance. Soon we'll be without a moon, humming a different tune. And then there may be teardrops to shed. So while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance, dance. Let's face the music and dance. Teardrops to shed. So while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance, dance. Let's face the music and dance. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Greg Schreiner, and what you have just seen is a taste of my show, Hollywood Revisited. Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce to you Elisa Sermont, who just did the Ginger Rogers dancing. <laughs> Yay. I wanted you to see this gown up closer here, because this gown weighs 35 pounds. It is very heavy. But you know what? Fred Astaire hated this dress because the sleeves kept slapping him in the face. I'm serious, and it hurts. It does. But Ginger didn't care because she looks so beautiful in it. But watch the movie. You'll see Fred get hit several times. Thank you, Elisa. Well, about 20 years ago, I decided I was going to start collecting a costume or two from the great old films. And I woke up a few years ago and I discovered I had 300 of them in my closets. <laughs> so I thought, I've got to do something with them. So I've combined the old costumes with some of the great music of the past into my show, Holly Revisited. And in fact, we just got back from touring Europe and the Cannes Film Festival. And I must tell you, people love the old movies in Europe. They ask to remember them and they worship them and they remember how great those movies were. Yeah. They don't make them like that anymore. And they don't make costumes like this anymore. Um, I don't need to tell you these days, the studios don't even have costume departments. So it's a very different world, very different world indeed. But we're grateful there's a few things surviving to share with you again today and bring back hopefully some wonderful memories. And speaking of memories, I love the 30s. I think that's one of my favorite eras of, of costumes and movies. They're just such wonderful deco looking things. And they had great designers back in the 30s, people like Adrian and Walter Plunkett and Travis Banton. These were major designers that did the most amazing, one of a kind designs that you'll never see anywhere that were totally impractical to wear, but it didn't matter because they looked so great <laughs> on the screen. And that's what really counted. So I'm bringing you a few things tonight uh, of that era and I, I hope that it'll bring back a few memories. And I'd like to bring back to the stage now Todd McCoskey, whom you just heard singing a minute ago, and he'll be bringing on the women, and they're going to be wearing clothes either from movies based in the 30s or actual 30s movies. 
Todd Makovsky. Must play a part to light an eye or win a heart. They say a gown can almost speak if it is chic. Should you select the right effect, you cannot miss. You may be sure he will tell you the. Lovely to look at, delightful to know, and heaven to kiss. A combination like this is quite my most impossible scheme come true. Imagine finding a dream like you. You're lovely to look at, it's thrilling to hold you terribly tight. For we're together, the moon is new, and oh, it's lovely to look at you tonight. Let's go. 